Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iOS 16 hidden features that you don't want to miss out on. These are features that are not that popular or even if you know about them, you probably have forgotten about them and don't know that you can do these things on your device running on iOS 16. Now iOS 16 is coming out in a week from now, so it's really important that you know all the cool stuff that you can do with this software update. Now we're starting things off with the spotlight search, but before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. iOS 16 is coming out in a week from now, and I will be releasing a ton of new videos on iOS 16. But most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you want to be updated with those videos and you don't want to miss any of them, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Now, the spotlight search on iOS 16, of course, has been updated with more features. Now you can all the spotlight search on iOS 16 has, of course, been updated and it has now quite a lot of new features and you can also invoke it from here. But what I really like is the feature that you will see right here. You can see I have Bluetooth and I can just tap there and it will take me to the Bluetooth settings on the settings app. Now what you will get with the spotlight search on iOS 16, if you search for something, let's say a setting or maybe a website or something like that, it will actually save them right here as a list. So you can have quick access to them whenever you invoke the spotlight search. So in this case, I've searched for Bluetooth and I've gone to the Bluetooth section on the settings app. Now that's saved there and I have this shortcut that allows me to go straight from, from here to the settings without having to search here at all. Now if I have something I don't want here, I can just go ahead, swipe, hide it and remove it from here. With iOS 16 and Siri on iOS 16, you can now send messages automatically. So of course, if you use Siri to send a message, you can now enable here automatically send messages. You can see Siri will automatically send messages unless you ask to cancel or change. So you want to reply to someone using Siri, you just say the words and of course it will send the message straight away unless again you cancel it by yourself. Next up, we're moving to accessibility, but actually we're talking about Siri again. So go here and then go to Siri. And what you will find here is Siri pause time. So right here, you can see set how long Siri waits for you to finish speaking. So of course, no one will speak the same. Someone spe speaks faster, someone slower. And if you just have that and you want to change it, you can go ahead and do that from here. So the default is the first one you cannot actually make it like shorter but you will have longer and the longest than from here now here we have another very useful setting under accessibility go to accessibility and right here go to touch and what you will find is a new section here actually a new toggle to turn on prevent lock to end call so on ios when you have this disabled when you're on a call you just press the lock button it will end the call right there Go ahead, enable this so the side button won't actually end your call. Now this right here is one of my favorite features of iOS 16. You can now delete contacts without having to go into the contact card and tapping the edit button. All you have to do is just 3D touch on any contact and from here tap on delete contact and you're good to go. You no longer have to take like five or six steps just to delete a contact from your device. Now here's another cool feature of the contacts on iOS 16. If you want to share a contact, what you can do now when tapping the share button is tap right here, filter fields, and this will show you all the different fields that you have for that contact. You probably have phone numbers, emails, and all that stuff. So you can go ahead and choose what you want to share. You can choose to share or not the picture of the contact, the name, phone numbers, emails, and all that stuff. On the music app on iOS 16, you can now finally rearrange playlists. So you go to one of your playlists and you tap the three dots right there at the top, and then you will have a sort by, you can go ahead and sort by title, artist, album, or release date. This is a very nice option, of course, if you use Apple Music app, now you can go ahead and just sort your playlists any way you like. 
iOS 16 brings rich links to the Mail app. Now with iOS 16, there will be a ton of cool updates for the Mail app and rich links is one of them. So previously on iOS 15, you sent a link here. It will be just text. Now you will have a preview here, which looks like this. It's actually really, really good. So whether you're sending an email or receiving an email that contains a link on it, you will see a preview of the link just like this one here. One of the most useful mail features that has been added to iOS 16 is the ability to unsend an email. So what you can do now is also go to settings and go to mail. And from here, you can actually choose how long you can do that. So let me just find this right here. So here we have undo send delay. So you can choose from off 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds. And in that period of time, you can undo send so the email will be unsent, which is really, really cool. So if you send a lot of emails and you don't wanna send something maybe by mistake, I suggest you turn this on and maybe keep it at around 20 or 30 seconds. With iOS 16, Apple has brought Quick Note to iOS. It was on iPad OS 15, now it's on iOS as well. Now most people think that you can only do that from the control center. So we'll have this button right here to take a quick note. But quick note is actually pretty much anywhere on iOS 16. Whether you're not on a website like this here and you just wanna share that website, you can tap here. You wanna actually add it to a quick note and just go ahead and add to quick note from here as easy as that. So you can do this with a lot of things. Maybe take a screenshot of your device. You can just go ahead and add it to a quick note as well. So if I share right there, I can go ahead and add to new quick note and from here create a note with that screenshot. So quick note is pretty much everywhere on iOS 16. So that is it for this video guys. These are 10 hidden iOS 16 features that I think iOS users should know about and of course not miss out on those because most of them are actually very very useful and you should know about them even though there are tons of different new features you have to learn on iOS 16. But of course we will keep you updated with all those features once iOS 16 gets released to the public, which actually will happen very, very soon. As I said at the beginning of the video, iOS 16 is coming out to the public next week. Is It will most likely be Monday, September 12th, and you will be able to actually install this update on your device if you haven't already tried out the beta and get all the cool new features and changes on your device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. As I said, I will be posting a ton of iOS 16 videos once it gets released to the public. So if you don't want to miss out on those, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a like on this video as it really helps out a lot. It will help the channel and the video do much, much better. So that's it. I will see you guys on the next one.